Aang gang. A little bit. I'm afraid of the Aang gang. It's cool. But here we go. We have the first game here. Javi versus Dr. Watts. Game one, grand finals. We are going to town and city. Let's do this. All right. And this is a run back from winner's finals. So we'll see if Watts uh, can change it up or if Javi is just going to look to sweep this. Uh, to sweep this. Yeah, it looks like Hobby's got a pretty firm control right now, keeping Dr. Watts juggled pretty effectively uh, using these platforms on Town and City to great effect. Now Dr. Watts getting a bit of an opening because of that whipped up smash. And this is going to be a hard match. We saw with Dr. Watts, like, with, with just because of the way Cloud's sword uh, is, it can be hard for Dr. Watts to find an opening. And right there, Hobby just sneaking right in with that back air and taking that first stock against Dr. Watts. Now getting a bit of an opening with that limit. That's a big combo to start the second stop off with. Yeah, really? It's crazy. Like sometimes like you the way I'm like watching like Hobby move and like the way Hobby kind of just like connects his uh like strings together. It's just so like it leaves you speechless sometimes. Yeah, he has very good command of the way Cloud operates. And right there, landing the spike through the stage to take Dr. Watts' second stock. Javi now up three stocks to one in this first game. Dr. Watts trying to make something happen here on the edge, but Javi able to get by, putting... Oh, oh my god! Oh, and he lived. Oh, that's a little <laughs> unfortunate, but that was also really, like, smart. That was, like, a very, like smart and, like, quick thinking on his feet. Yeah, that was on both ends, too. Like, for Javi to go for that spike, and that's a very confident statement, but also from Dr. Watts to recognize that at a lower percent, the up -E spike isn't going to be that strong, so he knew he wasn't going to die from it. And right <gasps> and there, getting the up -E spike of his own. Yeah, not even with the limit climb hazard, he's able to get back. And how this could be what Dr. Watts needed. They're now on even stocks. So it was a bit of a deficit to make up, but he has been finding some small openings here and there. And one opening is all Ganondorf needs to potentially take the stock. But Javi not wanting to give it to him, but he is able to sneak in with the wizard's foot. Getting the back air right there. The percents are climbing on Javi, and now he's off stage. But Javi does have the limit online and able to use it there with the limit cross slash. It was looking pretty scary for him, but able to use the limit to great effect to take that first game. And it looks like this is like it's it's hard to say how uh, how this match is gonna go because it looks like pretty pretty dominant for Javi. He did end up taking that first game, but Dr. Watts was able to make a comeback as that match went on. Uh, so it's it's hard to predict how exactly that uh, this set might turn out, especially based on that first game. I wonder where we're gonna go for game number two. Go take a quick peek. Alrighty. The, stage. the bat cave. We're going, it looks like <laughs> final destination. Almost. All right, final destination. I think that's a, that's a good choice for uh, for Dr. Watts. Um, we'll eliminate all the platforms that were allowing Javi to extend those juggles against him uh, and make it harder for Javi to land against him as well. Uh, I think that that's definitely going to help him out. As we go into this game two, uh, we'll see how Dr. Watts is able to adjust against Javi, see if he's going to do any better uh, in the second game. Watts right off the bat, just finding these quick two hit strings and just racking up the percent right here to come out to like a very strong uh, standing. Oh my god, that bad. Oh! Knowing that Javi wanted to go right to the ledge and landing that down air. Uh, Dr. Watts now in the lead in the second game. But Javi got him trapped at the ledge here, able to sneak by with the wizard's foot. Javi's got him back off stage, not quite landing the spike hitbox of the dare, but he's still... Oh, what a tack! 
And great to recognize that he needed to tech there too, because uh, I think most people probably wouldn't be expecting the tech there, just expecting to get spiked. It's getting scooped. But taking the stock right there with that back air, Hobby's even this up. Oh my oh, god. But going Hobby did. way <laughs> oh. too low. Oh, that is not the self destruct. Yeah. Yeah, just now you're dodging off stage at a point where he was way too low, but this is really good for Dr. Watts now. A full stock up, and he is extending this lead super far right now. 52% on Javi. But Javi right now answering back. He's got Dr. Watts trapped at the ledge. Ready for that wizard's foot right there, sending him back off stage. Yeah, taking some time to charge limit. It is now online for him. We'll see if he can make use of it to potentially take Dr. Watts' stock here. That's yeah, sending him back off stage. Looking for the cross slash, but Dr. Watts air dodging past it. And the dash attack right there. And the back air to even the stocks up. Now this is going to be it. Like, like, like even though Javi is at the bit of a deficit, this is kind of the the hard part for Dr. Watts, I feel like, to be able to try and maintain this lead because Javi, he can make these huge comebacks uh, if he has the opportunity to. Ooh! That was so close, looking for the spike with the umpy. He tried a two frame him too. Yeah, that was a good, good decision for Javi, but Dr. Watts able to avoid it, getting the up air. Oh, just barely Great. sneaking past the down tilt. That that stall with this uh, like cross slash one was so smart. Yeah, that's for sure. Javi just barely clinging on to life here. 76 to 146. Dr. Watts does still have a bit of a lead, but he is off stage here, trapped at the ledge oh, and the limit. Blade no beam, way. not quite gonna do it. Dr. Watts is alive. Oh, but the stage spike. Javi. So wow. good. Yeah, there it is. Javi, uh, as we said before, just able to make that comeback. Keep it calm, keep it composed, and just do what he had to do, and just clutching it out with that stage spike against Dr. Watts. And Javi, too, ready to go for those those big risk plays, because if he had missed that back air, that might have spelled death for him. But we are going to be going back into this game three here. This is the last chance that Javi, uh, or that Dr. Watts has to potentially take down Javi. Well, uh, Javi poised to take this shell shock season two opener as we go back to final destination for this game three. Oh, very smart by Dr. Watts to roll away from the cross slash. He's not letting himself get pressured this way Hobby has been uh, pressuring people with that on shield. Oh. Dude, Watts is like, Watts is playing like he is up 2 0 in the set. Yeah, this there's something, did, this something about it. He's, he's looking, to, oh my God, if he had landed that. But yeah, he's looking super confident right now. He's just letting those, those two get past games just like slide off his back. And he is ready to play here in this game three. But Javi's certainly not going to make it easy for him. It's still looking pretty even right now. Oh, and running right into the limit cross slash right there, but only getting the fat last few hits, so it's not quite going to kill, but that oh, spike certainly is. That down air is just... You can just feel it. You can just feel it. Every time you see it hit, and you just, like, you hear it, you're just like, oh, my God. Yeah, it's it's one of the, the quite the meaty hits of, uh, of Smash Ultimate here, but speaking of meaty hits, almost landing that F smash, but Javi just barely able to avoid it. He st even stocks right here in this third game. But Dr. Watts is going to have to try and find his way in, not approach too impatiently, or else he's risking getting hit by those cross slashes. Great high recovery, but a little too far away from the ledge. And now this is potentially Dr. Watts' tournament stock. It's definitely looking like this Cinderella like run for Watts is slowly coming to an end. And I think that might be all she wrote. No, Watts lives it. 
Yeah, just barely able to survive that back air, but this is a hard spot for him to be. Able to sneak past, though, and get the down smash against Javi. Looking for oh. the down air, but it scared him too much. Stocks are even. Stocks are even. Ganondorf is still alive. This could be a comeback in the in, in, like in the making. Yeah, that's all Dr. Watts needs, is as long as he's still alive, he can still potentially make this comeback. Yeah. And but... you can tell just like looking the way at the way like Javi is moving, he is just trying to dance around like this this kind of like radius of uh pain that uh Gandorf can bring. Yeah, but now Oh, Dr. Watts opening him up, but missing the tech and chase, that's and that's going to cost him. Wow. You heard the thunder rumble as Dr. Watts fell. Yeah. <laughs> but Javi oh, going to be taking Shellshock 13 here, the Season 2 opener. Uh, he is now $20 richer and taking that in a very efficient fashion.